At the University of Rochester, astronomer Adam Frank compares the excitement of gases in a nebula to a basketball game. This basketball game is a real nice analogy, though earthbound, for what happens in a nebula. Down on the court, you've got Rochester going up against NYU. The basketball players are a lot like the stars at the center of a nebula. When something exciting happens on the court, you see the crowd getting all excited. The crowd stands up, they cheer, they emit energy. In this case, it's sound energy, but in the nebula, it would be light. This is exactly the same thing that happens when an electron gets ripped off an atom, flies around for a while, and then finds another atom to recombine with and emits energy at the same time. As new stars are born within the nebulas, they sometimes shoot out spectacular jets. This one is three trillion miles long. The jets are nebulas in their own right, generated by the orbiting cloud of gas and dust sending material into the young star. Because of rotation, it first forms an accretion disk, which is kind of like a frisbee spinning around the young star, feeding, building the young star. Now, there's always magnetic fields in all of this gas. And as the disk spins, material loads up onto the field lines, as we say, and it spins and then is flung out into space. Eventually, the field lines get bent around, collimating the jet, creating a nice solid jet column. 